Welcome to the Elisa Studio Quick Starts. This video will cover the setup process for head tracking and binaural processing. Navigate to the Binaural tab in the Settings page. You can also navigate to the Settings page with the keyboard shortcuts Command 9 on Mac or Control 9 on Windows. At first, binaural processing may be disabled in your session. Enable processing in order to see more options. You will first see two parameters head size, and ear angle. These two parameters greatly influence the accuracy of the perceived localization and externalization of object placement within ELISA. A binaural calibration pack can be found in the link in the description, which includes an ELISA controller session, a voice track, and a PDF walkthrough. Use this pack to personalize your binaural experience. Additionally, more information regarding the binaural calibration can be found in the detailed help file. A binaural EQ is provided with adjustable parameters for high shelf, low shelf, LF contour, and a left-right balance. The binaural EQ is used to match the frequency response of your headphones to the system response of a loudspeaker system, ensuring that your content will sound the same from system to system. ELISA supports the integration of third-party head tracking devices to increase immersion and ground your mix into a 3D space. Head tracking information can be received from USB MIDI with devices such as the Supperware head tracker found here, and over OSC from applications that utilize the video input of your webcam, such as FacePose head tracker. We recommend the use of a USB connected head tracker for increased performance and low latency head tracking. When enabled, you can see the values for yaw, pitch, and roll change in real time. To reset your orientation, look forward at the screen and press reset. When head tracking is enabled, it will also appear on the soundscape page. Binaural routing is pre-configured in the default templates. But to configure binaural outputs in your own sessions, go to the Routing tab. Click the plus button to create a new routing. Double click to add a name. Signal type and add an assignment. The signal for binaural monitoring can be assigned to either master, monitoring, or one of the two user assignable faders. When in a live environment with separate binaural processing, it is recommended to assign the binaural signal to the monitoring fader. This has been the Elisa Studio Quick Start on Binaural Setup.